Um, good morning, uh, everyone. I uh, welcome back to, to the <laughs> session, I suppose. It's a bit of a dreary morning, um, but we have really great uh, news that I'm very happy to, to share with you today. Um, thanks to the Canadian Counseling and Psychotherapy Association registered psychotherapists, um, I have uh, brought forward a private member's bill. Um, it is two, C218, and ultimately it would remove uh, the federal uh, GST portion of taxes on um, psychotherapy and counseling therapy um, bills and fees. Uh, the Canadian Counseling and, and Psychotherapy Association, they've been incredible advocates uh, for stronger mental health supports in this country, and uh, they've helped me in my role as a parliamentarian to bring forward legislation that I think can truly help people, both in my writing in London Fanshawe, but across the country. Uh, the person who actually came uh, forward with uh, the, the idea for this bill, or at least introduced it to me, uh, unfortunately can't be with us today. But Stephanie Wu Dreden, Deirdrin, sorry, uh, she's from London, and she, she uh, contacted my office, and she said, hey, uh, Lindsay, um, I, I would really like for you to hear out uh, about this idea that we have and that we've been working on in the CCPA. So I met with her in about March of 2021, and she told me things like prior to the pandemic, counseling and therapy, uh, psychotherapy was already the most requested but least met mental health care need of Canadians. That an estimated 5.3 million Canadians reported that they needed help for their mental health in 2017, but of these, 2.3 million reported that their mental health needs were only partially met or fully met. Uh, fully unmet, sorry. She also shared with me that among providers of mental health services in Canada, um, those counseling therapists, psychotherapists, are the only mental health professionals required to charge GST and HST. All others are exempt. This includes psychologists, social workers, occupational therapists. We spoke about the strain that this put on her and her colleagues, but of course her clients as well. And especially since COVID has placed a higher stress on people and their mental health, this has been greatly impacted. So after that meeting, I did my research and I discovered that over the years, mental health advocates have been pushing for this tax exemption. They were told that the Department of Finance required a profession a profession to be regulated in at least five provinces or territories. And despite the fact that the profession actually has met this requirement, they still have not been given an exemption. I also was pleased to learn that a former NDP MP had actually put forward a similar bill to mine in 2017. So New Democrats have been working to change this law and make this profession more financially accessible for many years. So in December of 2021, I was able to introduce Bill C-218, an act to amend the Excise Tax Act on Psychotherapy Services. But this matter can only be resolved through a budgetary bill and tabled by the Minister of Finance is what we're pushing for. I'm urging all of my colleagues and all parties to support our call for an amendment to the Excise Tax Act to include counseling therapy and psychotherapy practitioners and counseling therapy psychotherapy services as tax exempt. We're experiencing a time of skyrocketing inflation and increases on the need for mental health services. Canadians shouldn't have to pay that extra tax on the mental health services that they so desperately need. This is a simple but good first step to help people access the mental health supports that they need. And again, I am so grateful to the CCPA for their support of my bill. And I will uh, look forward to working with all parliamentarians to ensure that we can make this happen. Thank you so much. And I will pass this along to uh, someone working actually in the field, Lindsay Thompson. Good morning, bonjour à tous. On behalf of the Canadian Counseling and Psychotherapy Association, the many national and provincial associations who represent mental health practitioners across the nation, and all those who have access to counseling, psych counseling therapy and psychotherapy, I would like to thank MP Matheson for her leadership. We are so grateful and proud of the work that you have done to put forward this private member's bill, C-218. Je m'appelle Lindsay Thompson et je suis la directrice des affaires publiques de l'Association canadienne de counseling et de psychothérapie. 
Je suis un psychothérapeute agréé et je travaille avec les clients depuis les dernières six années. Aussi, j'ai également bénéficié des soins de santé mentale au cours des dernières dix années. My name is Lindsay Thompson and I'm the Director of Public Affairs for the Canadian Counseling and Psychotherapy Association. I'm a registered psychotherapist working with clients over the past six years, and I myself have benefited from mental health support over the last 10 years. I'm speaking on behalf of the CCPA, but also on behalf of Stephanie Wu Dearden, also a therapist, who originally approached MP Nathan about the removal of the tax. Unfortunately, Stephanie cannot be here today due to illness. Counseling therapists and psychotherapists across the country have shared that adding GST or HST to psychotherapy services has limited access. This unfair tax should not be a barrier to affording mental health care. Counseling therapists and psychotherapists are the only mental health professionals who must charge this tax. This has to change. Social workers, psychologists, and occupational therapists, as mentioned by MP Matheson, have already been exempt from charging this ta tax for providing the same psychotherapy service. While free psychotherapy programs do exist, they often come with extensive wait times. And just because a program is offered does not mean that it meets the needs of that particular individual who is seeking that service. Adding GST and HST to psychotherapy services from counseling therapists and psychotherapists themselves limits access to their services and again acts as a barrier for those seeking mental health support. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, psychotherapy was already the most requested but the least met healthcare need of Canadians. In 2017, an estimated 5.3 million Canadians reported that they needed mental health support, but of these, 2.3 reported that their needs were only partially met or actually fully unmet. In the wake of the pandemic, it's widely known that many Canadians have struggled with their mental health. Whether it's the isolation of lockdowns or quarantine, losing a job, not having adequate childcare, or the loss of a loved one, the estimated number of 5.3 million has surely skyrocketed. The government can demonstrate its commitment to supporting the mental health of Canadians by eliminating the tax on counseling therapy services. The government says that supporting Canadians' mental health is a priority, and so this is an opportunity for their actions to match their words. The government's policy is that services of a profession are GST and HST exempt once that profession is regulated in at least five provinces or territories. Despite our profession meeting this requirement, the government refuses to provide the tax exemption simply because the provinces have regulated using different professional titles. This is a bureaucratic game of semantics that is causing barriers to further accessing services during a time of extreme need for Canadians post-pandemic. I apologize, my pages are stuck together. There we go. Today, I'm excited to announce that we're launching a national campaign for tax-free therapy. We can all work together to increase access to mental health services by removing tax from counseling therapy and psychotherapy services. Visit taxfreetherapy.ca to contact your local MP and the Honorable Minister Freeland to express your support for private member bill C-218. Please join us in supporting this campaign to remove GST and HST from all counseling and psychotherapy services. In less than five minutes, you can take action by visiting taxfreetherapy.ca and sharing this campaign with family and friends. Thank you. I will now take questions. Ryan? Just wondering if you have a cost estimate for what this would cost the Treasury to make t uh, therapy tax-free. Um, that's something that we're still currently working on. I can absolutely get back to you with more details on that. Yes. This concludes press conference. Yeah. Sorry, oh. I, I believe, um, and I, I could be mistaken, but um, the PBO actually did a, a cost estimate of this bill uh, earlier in the spring. Um, and so we'll get you those numbers. Absolutely. And there is no more question. This concludes the press conference. Merci.